welcome back again so dear students today our topic is dihybrid cross first of all we will try to define what is dihybrid cross then what is dihybrid and finally we will discuss some of the important details of the Mendel's dihybrid cross which he performed okay so let's get started first of all with the definition of dihybrid cross a dihybrid cross is basically a cross which is made between two individuals two homozygous individuals that differ with respect to two characters say for example you have taken two plants uh, plant A and plant B, they differ with respect to two characters and you get the offspring. Okay, or F1 generation. These two individuals which, which differ with respect to two characters, okay, when they are allowed to cross fertilize and you get the offspring, this type of genetic cross is known as dihybrid cross. Okay, now we will use the Mendel's dihybrid cross example to uh, exactly define what is dihybrid cross and what is dihybrid. Mendel selected two pea plant varieties, one represented by capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y, and another by small r, small r, small y, small y. And this parent and this parent, they differed with respect to two characters. One was seed shape and another was color of cotyledons or color of seeds. Okay, This pea plant which Mendel selected as one parent, it is seed shape was yellow, uh, round and it is cotyledon color was yellow and this pea plant which Mendel selected as other parent it is seed shape was wrinkled and it is cotyledon color was green or yaad rakhna beta jo round seed shape hai it is dominant over wrinkled seed shape and this yellow seed color or yellow cotyledon color it is dominant over green cotyledon color or green seed color okay then at the time of formation of gametes, uh, we could expect only single type of gamete, gamete here, okay? Yaha pe gametes jo banenge, that will be capital R, capital Y, and here we will have small r and small y. Only one type of gametes will be formed, that is why we are only representing the gametes by capital R, capital Y, and here small r, small y, okay? And uh, after fusion, you will have the F1 progeny, and the genotype of F1 progeny will be like this capital R, small r, and capital Y, and small y. Okay. This individual, which is heterozygous with respect to two different genes, one controlling the shape of seeds and another one controlling the color of seeds, this is known as dihybrid. Okay. So, an individual that is heterozygous for two different genes or two different loci that individual is known as dihybrid. So let's recapitulate what is dihybrid cross, okay? A cross which is made between two individuals, okay, two homozygous individuals, uh, that differ with respect to two characters, that cross is known as dihybrid cross, and the individual and the offspring which is produced here, that is heterozygous, with respect to two different genes or two different loci, that individual is known as dihybrid. Okay, let's make it more clear. Here you have got the F1 uh, individual possessing capital R, small r, and capital Y, small y. Okay, or you can also represent it in terms of chromosomes. Uh, these are the chromosome pairs. One possessing capital R here, and this chromosome possessing small r here, and this chromosome possessing capital Y here and this chromosome possessing small y here. Uh, this individual, it is heterozygous with respect to two different genes, one gene controlling seed shape and another controlling color of seeds, or you can say here, it is heterozygous with respect to two loci. This is a locus, okay? This is another locus. They differ at this locus because here you have capital R and here you have small r. And they also differ at this locus because here you have capital Y and here you have small y. So now you know what is uh, a dihybrid cross and what is a dihybrid. Okay. Now some of the important details of the dihybrid cross which Mendel performed. Mendel carried a hybridization experiment between two pea plant varieties. One was homozygous for round seeds and yellow endosperm and another homozygous for wrinkled seeds and 
ग्रीन एंडोस्पर्म याद रखना जो राउंड सीड शेप है इट इज डोमिनेट ओवर रिंकलड एंड येलो सीड कलर येलो एंडोस्पर्म कलर इट इज डोमिनेट ओवर ग्रीन एंडोस्पर्म कलर एंड आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट ही गॉट द एफ एन प्लांट्स एंड ही ऑब्जर्व दैट ऑल द एफ एन प्लांट्स हैड राउंड सीड्स एंड येलो एंडोस्पर्म बिकॉज द जीनो टाइप ऑफ एफ एन प्लांट वॉज कैपिटल आर स्मॉल आर कैपिटल वाई स्मॉल वाई ओके दे पॉज टू टू डोमिनेट अलील्स वन आर डोमिनेट अलील एंड वन वाई डोमिनेट अलील एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टू डोमिनेट अलील्स द सीड शेप इन एफ एन प्लांट्स वॉज राउंड एंड इट इज कलर वॉज येलो एंड ऑन सेल्फिंग एफ वन प्लांट्स ही ओबटेंड द एफ टू प्लांट्स एंड इन द एफ टू जनरेशन ही ऑब्जर्व दैट थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन प्लांट्स वॉज प्रोड्यूसड राउंड सीड्स एंड द कलर ऑफ सीड्स वॉज येलो वन हंड्रेड वन प्लांट्स वे आर हैविंग रिंकलड सीड्स एंड द कलर ऑफ सीड्स वॉज येलो वन हंड्रेड एट प्लांट्स विद राउंड सीड्स एंड ग्रीन कलर ऑफ सीड्स एंड थर्टी टू प्लांट्स हैविंग रिंकलड सीड शेप एंड द कलर ऑफ सीड्स वॉज ग्रीन ओके ऑन क्रिटिकली एनालाइजिंग दीज फिगर्स दीज नंबर्स he recognized that the progeny in f2 generation it is emerging in the ratio of 9 to 3 is to 3 is to 1 okay that means nine individuals having round seeds and yellow cotyledon color three individuals having round seeds and green cotyledon color three individuals having wrinkled seeds and yellow cotyledon color and three indi- uh, sorry one individual possessing wrinkled seeds and green cotyledon and color okay then he carried out uh, such uh, crosses for a number of other pairs of characteristics and always obtained the same ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 okay the f2 progeny always emerged in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 this is all about the details of the mendel's diabetic cross that he performed uh in the next part we are going to de- uh, discuss in detail and explain what was the reason behind this ratio of 9:3:3:1 till then stay blessed and thank you